Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Mother Trucker. This is your favorite mother trucker. Sorry, I was just looking to see what was up. Um, and anyway, I am here in Minnesota. It is frigid and cold, y'all. And my windshield looks like crap. I ended up staying here at my 90 last night. I'm at the Costco. People here are really, really nice. Um, but let me tell you, coming in last night, the weather was raunchy. I mean, there wasn't a lot. I mean, there was snow everywhere, but it wasn't like we were in feet of snow. Um, and this is a favor load I'm doing for sales. So, anyway, a guy's regen wasn't working on, on his truck, and it needed to regen, and I ended up grabbing his load there in Texas. Now I'm going to be headed back to Texas to Laredo. I'm picking up another load here in Minnesota, about 145 miles away from here. So, let me tell you, I mean, the weather here is sketch. I cannot wait to get out of the north. I mean, it is bad. And they say there's some horrendous storms coming in. Right now, it is four degrees where I'm sitting. I'm just looking, looking at my truck. Four degrees, y'all. And this heater in my cab is not working worth a monkey's fart. I mean, this really sucks. But the bunk heater's working well. I don't know what's going on with the cab heater, why it's not working. But I'm going to have to, I mean, it's not like it's blowing out cold air, so it's working somewhat. So, I just got to see what's going on. And, um, but my message is y'all need to be super, super vigilant, super careful. You need to slow way down. I was just looking, oh, the prime truck's moving out, just not my prime truck. Um. I was looking at that fleet message, plus I, I was watching online for the national weather. We got some bad, I mean, in some places, it's going to have wind chills from 20 to 60 below zero. And I'm like, honey, that dog don't hunt. I'm an Arctic baby. I love me some Alaska. Don't get me wrong. Oh, y'all, I know I'm a hot mess of my hair. Um, but the thing is, is... It's a different kind of cold up there, and I'm more prepared for that kind of cold. And also, on these big rigs, they have special tires they put on during the winter, like it's a different kind of rubber. Then they cut them and everything else, where they just claw and grip that road. And the trucks are set up, really set up for winter weather. I mean, I kind of wish mine would do something like that, like have a winter fleet and have the fleet that runs below the Mason-Dixie line. Because that way, they're, you know, they could really in the north they could really winterize these trucks and make them built for winter but they're just not we're not built for winter so anyway um yeah things are just frigid out there and oh i lost more weight i keep losing the weight's coming off i mean this is a medium that i have on right now you know so it just keeps getting i keep shrinking but anyway um no, everything else is going good. Uh, my student, Charlene, she'll be finished with her training probably the end of next week. Um, so she'll get to probably be home for New Year's and then I'm grabbing another student. Um, I don't know who yet, so, but they're gonna be a 50,000 miler, so hopefully it's someone I like. Um, but other than that, everything's going pretty good. I'm sorry, I'm looking haggardy. Uh, Look at all this loose skin from when I'm losing this weight. It's just, y'all, I cannot wait to go get that facelift. And then the tummy tuck and the ch -ch girls. Yes, let's not forget about the girls. They're like staring down at my feet now going, hey, we're related, right? You know, uh-uh. They need to, you know, like I'm sending my breasts to the military. They need to be up, eyes forward, right? So, anyway, guys, I'm just being silly. Uh, but please, please, y'all, be careful. Slow the hell down. There is nothing worth dying for. There's no load. There's no amount of money. You don't want to leave your family without anything. I mean, let's say you survive the wreck. You wreck your truck. Then you're down even longer. And you're losing money. Then if you just tuck your timer, you just shut down for a few days if you have to. You know, almost every trucking company out there would rather you stop, 
park and wait. And if you're not working for a trucking company that allows you to make a call and say this weather is too bad, I'm not running in it, you're working for the wrong company. The company I happen to work for right now, they're big proponents and they support us big time. And when the weather's bad, all you gotta say is no, for me, this is too bad, I'm not running in it. And um, that takes a lot for me to get to that point. But uh, last night I was going 25 to 45 for 150 miles. I, I'm i sorry, I'm not risking it. And I saw a trucks pass me not all of them, but a few of them ended up in the medium or off on the other side of the road, just ran right off the road. Saw a few of them just spin out in front of me, and I'm like, uh, uh, cars and pickups and stuff, just spin out in front of me and just fly right into the deal, and I'm like, oh, my Lanta. But big rigs, I saw a few of them just, just like, whoosh, they, they couldn't stop. The, the truck just start going like this and whoosh, right into the medium. Luckily, none of them rolled or flipped. Thank God, praise the Lord. And you knew they were okay because just the way they hit. Um, but it's scary. And this is the time of year you see all those huge pileups. Um, last year, we had the whole highway, and I think it was I-40. I think it was I-40. I'll have to ask George. Um, that... Uh, we were closed down for like three days because they just closed the highway down. There was people parked in the fuel aisle everywhere else and there was some asshole going, I'm gonna call the police because this person walked out that they had nowhere to go. They were literally, there were people in front of them, in front of them, I mean, everyone converged on this store. All I could think is I filled in that fuel aisle. I got off to get fuel because the roads were sketchy and I fear I got stuck on the highway or anything. I wanted a full tank. And then someone come into the store when I was, you know, getting everything to fill my truck saying, yeah, they just shut the gates on the highway, the ramps, you can't, it's closed down. There's been like a 60 car pile up. And I'm like, I saw one spot right across from the fuel aisle. Child, I got out there, hit fuel. I pulled her out and I back right into that spot. It was a hard spot to get in. And it was on ice in my trailer. It was a hot mess, y'all. But I got in without hitting the trucks on either side. And, uh, boy, after that, people just start piling up. And I just turned off my truck. My APU was on, so not using much fuel. And we were there for three days before we could move. And then another time that winter, which was last winter, we got caught in um, Dove Creek, Colorado. They shut everything down. And me and George had to chain up there. And let me tell you, it, those roads were really bad. And this place that normally has like parking for three big rigs had like 20 of them just sandwiched. We were literally... I could reach out the window and touch the truck trailers next to me. We were front, you know, like toe to head. And um, then they were in front of you all the way to the road. It, it was, it was sketch. But that place, I got to say, that store we were at there in Dub Creek stayed open 24 hours a day. They took care of all the truckers the whole time we were there. They cooked, they, I, it was great. It was I was really grateful to them. Um, so anyway, guys, like I said, just be careful. This is going to be a rough, rough winter, and this next week is going to be really bad. And really, I felt kind of blessed up until now because um, the winter hadn't been that bad. Um, oh, my God, though. I went to Donner Pass a few days back, and they had been clearing it. There was snow up to here on my windows that high and then and it wasn't from push click they were clearing it and that wasn't from that because it went up in an angle from there it was like that deep that snow had to be eight feet deep and i was like but the roads luckily the plows had just come that they were clear you know i mean it's a little icy but not nothing you know that you couldn't drive through but i'll tell you i was scarred Oh my God. I was like, oh honey, that dog don't hunt. 
but last night the roads you know even though we only had that much snow and that, that's just it it doesn't really matter how much snow's out there it's the road conditions i'll tell you it was slicker than a grease pig at a rodeo i'm telling you them roads were slick and i was like lord help me but anyway guys just wind up drop a video say hi to y'all i'm sorry i just haven't been that regular with things and i'm sorry i'm not glammed up looking cute and my hair as you look at all the static electricity in the air y'all i am just a hot mess but it is what it is so anyway guys take care and till next time i'll talk with y'all later mother trucker out please treat each other with kindness respect and love practice inclusion instead of exclusion because you never know who you might meet you never know. You might like them, guys. Bye-bye.